Hello, this is Giuseppe Conti. I'm the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. Today's video looks at a topic that is less frequent in business negotiation, multi-party negotiation. Most of the times, you know, we are used to deal with only one person and we want to reach an agreement with this person. Although there are situations where the complexity is higher and there are multiple parties involved. Let me take, for instance, the example of an internal negotiation. You may be part of an executive committee or just, you know, a, more, a less senior kind of committee and this committee has to take a decision which is important to you. Then what are you going to do to influence the other party so that your decision is retained? Let me share with you three advice that may be useful in managing multi-party negotiations. The first one is about identifying all key stakeholders, which means, you know, the people that are sitting at the table, but also the other people that influence the people at the table or that will have to be involved somehow during the decision process. And when you look at all the key parties, then you have to understand their interest and also their button, the best alternative to a negotiated agreement. So, in the case, for instance, of the internal committee, by doing this analysis, you will start having an idea about which are the persons that are going to be in your favor, which are the ones that are in doubt, and which are the ones that are more likely to be opposing your idea. The second advice is to look at the right sequence to approach people. What I mean is that in multi-party negotiation, rather than waiting for the big meeting to take place, you will be approaching people individually outside of the table to influence their decision. Thanks to your understanding of the interest and button that you have done on the first step, then you can decide you know, which are the right people to approach and the right order and on which kind of topics you can approach each person. An advice, by the way, in this respect, is probably a good idea to talk to the people that are in doubt. Let's say if you talk to the people that are opposing your idea, you're probably wasting time. While it's important to talk to the people that are in doubt, and it's also useful to be the first one that talks to them. Because if those people have given the commitment to you that they are going to support you, then it's going to be more difficult for the others to convince them to move in the other direction. The third advice I want to give you is define a decision process that supports your decision. What I mean is that the decision may be based on consensus, on democracy, it may be public vote or secret vote. So, by choosing the decision mechanism that works best for you, thanks to the analysis that you've made, then you can increase your chance that your decision will be taken. To summarize, three key ideas you want to keep in mind when involved in multi-party negotiations. The first one is identify all key stakeholders that are involved in the decision. The second one is decide the right sequence to approach different people outside of the table. And the third one, recommend a decision criteria that favor your decision. For more insight on negotiation and influencing, check our website www.cabl.ch. Thank you very much.